guys. Um, so your assignment for the next four weeks um, will be we will be using this digital platform called weavesilk.com. It is completely free and it is very easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, so right now I'm going to move over to the PowerPoint to give you some visual examples on what kind of artwork Weave Silk produces. So you will have eight assignments using this program. Two will be due each week. So there are eight, yeah, eight assignments total. So again, we'll be using it for four weeks straight. So assignments one and two will be due week one, three and four will be due the second week and so on. I'll get into that a little bit more in another video. So here are the type of digital artwork that Weave Silk produces. So as you notice, some of them may look like things you have seen before, um, mandalas, um, and you'll notice symmetry and other things you've learned about before. Okay, so let's go over to the platform. So your controls are over here. Your controls will be your best friend while you're using this program. Um, this is full screen. You can um, expand it to the screen. That way you can see everything a little bit better. This is the icon to save a picture. I'll show you how to do that at the end. This is your undo button. With the undo button, you can only undo something once. Um, if you really do not like your picture, just press new and you can start over. So here are your controls. These are your colors. You can do an ombre effect if you drag one color into the other and it's not really working right now. There we go. Okay. So down here, this is where your rotational symmetry will be. And then this corresponds to how many points there are. Down here, this is your mirror control. It, for each assignment, I will tell you whether to have your mirror control on or off. Same thing with a spiral. I will tell you for that assignment whether this should be on or off. I will also tell you um, what type of rotational symmetry is required for that assignment. Okay, so I'm going to get started and show you a few different examples. Um, so if I don't have any rotational symmetry, both of my settings are off. It's more of like a free hand kind of drawing. Um, if you move your cursor slowly, you'll get more of a lightning bolt effect. If you move your cursor quickly, you'll get a very uh, smooth line. Okay, so I'm going to start over. I'm going to bump this up to six fold rotational symmetry and I'm going to turn my settings on. So both the mirror and the spiral setting just to give you an idea of what kind of stuff you can make. So that was very, very easy to make and it only took me um, about two seconds. So in most of your assignments, I require you to use at least two, three or four colors. So I'm going to switch over to another color. All right, now I feel like I need something brighter. So I'm gonna add this gray, but it turns out to be more of like a white. And I'm moving my mouse or cursor slower so I can get more of a lightning effect right here. So um, Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to save the picture. So you're going to press the camera icon right here. Then you can either right click or press your control button and then your cursor. Click save image as. Save. And then you will upload it onto Google Classroom and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. That is all for now.